Getting your head around VOR operations is tricky enough on the ground, so to reduce the amount of thinking a pilot needs to do in the air, we have procedures which, if followed, will ensure you don't get lost. One of these procedures is interception. But before we dive into the procedures itself, we first need to learn about these three topics before anything makes any sort of sense. Behind the landing signal, line up and wait, man, it's a zero. A line of position is essentially just the radio you're on and whether you're inbound or outbound the station. In this case, my line of position is inbound radial 270 because I am on radial 270 and flying towards the station. The LOP here is given by the tail. And in this case, I am outbound at radial 090 because I am on radial 090 and flying away from the station. And here the LOP is given by the head of the HSI. Now this will require that you're tracking a radial first so it isn't constantly changing. One way of making sure that your present and future LOP are the same is tracking towards the station. To do this on a VOR instrument, find a center 2 indication and fly to the heading you find. Here I find a center 2 indication when I put 150 at the head of the VOR instrument. So if I turn the aircraft heading 150, I should be heading directly towards the station. Same goes with the HSI, except due to technology you could just press the course button and it gives you the course you need to fly immediately. On an RMI, you just need to turn to where the arrow is pointing. That's, that's literally it. With that done, you'll now be able to tell what your line of position is. Clear for touch and go. Yeah. Next is the difference between basic and boxing interception. Basic interception is used if your LOP and the target radio you'll be intercepting is less than 90 degrees away. Boxing is used if the radial you're targeting is more than 90 degrees away. A good way to determine this is to use your heading indicator. Draw a line between your 90 degree points, identify your LOP, then identify the target radio. If the target radio falls within the half of your radio, it's basic interception. If it falls outside of it, it's boxing. How many times do I get to do this in my life? Not too many times, probably. Your intercept angle is the angle you will arrive at the target radial. There are two ways to travel along a radial, inbound or outbound. If you are targeting an inbound radial, the possible angles are 30, 60, and 90 degrees. If you're outbound, it'll be 30, 45, and 60 degrees. To do the calculation, take the difference between your line of position and the target radial, multiply that by 2, and then take the next step up. That will be your intercept angle. If the number you got exceeds the maximum angle, then your intercept angle will be the maximum angle. I don't know how good of a time this is to say this, but I kind of have to be. Now let's run through the intercept procedures themselves. If your present and future LOP are the same, take note of your LOP. In this case, since we are inbound, our LOP is given by the tail. Now we twist the course knob, and since the target is inbound, we place it on the tail. Now we determine the intercept heading. In this case, our LOP is 30 degrees away from the target, 30 times 2 equals 60, therefore 60 degrees from the head in the direction of the needle is our heading. In this case, it's 030. Now, 
just fly on this heading until the needle starts to move. Then turn towards the head of the HSI and try to center the needle. It's good to note that these steps may take a few minutes to execute depending on how far you are from the VOR. And that is an example of basic interception. If you look at the flight path of this procedure, you can see when we were on our previous radio, when we made the turn, and when we arrived at the target radio. Now we take a look at an example of boxing interception. Like in basic interception, take note of your LOP, in this case inbound radial 180. Then, since our target is inbound radial 300, we place the tail there. Now in boxing interception, all we need to do is to fly parallel to the radial that we're targeting. So in this case, since we're flying to inbound radial 300, our first step is to turn towards heading 300. Now once the VOR station is abeam your aircraft, the flag will flip and your RMI will show it dipping below the 90 degree mark. So now start a timer for 2 minutes. Once those two minutes are up, you will begin a basic interception procedure, but because you are flying parallel to the radial you are targeting, you will always use the maximum intercept angle. So when going inbound, just turn the aircraft 90 degrees, and then 90 degrees once more once the needle starts to center. And if you look at the flight path we made, we flew parallel to the radio and then intercepted it at 90 degrees. And that covers this tutorial for today. In the next few videos, we'll cover other variations of the procedure using outbound radials and other instruments. I'm Cadet Pep, thank you very much for watching.